three, two, one, go, 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 go! And as promised, picking right up where we left off from yesterday's video, if you did not watch the previous vlog, you should go watch it because there's some crazy stuff that happened in that video. If my voice sounds absolutely horrible today, if I look like I got no sleep, it's uh, because I only got like three hours of sleep last night. So yeah, but I got a lot of stuff to get done because we still have to prepare for this camping trip. Jamie is out working on the roof again with his cousin. So while he's gone, I'm just gonna try to get a bunch of stuff done. Hi, Miss Memphis. Oh, I do wanna give you guys a little update on Memphis. I did not take the camera with me this morning. Memphis, can I show them? So the other day, yeah, stretch it out so I could show them. Jamie and I found a little tiny lump on Memphis. Can I show them? Right under here. Well, you can't even see it because it's under her fur and it's tiny. But it's right here. Um, as soon as I found it, it was squishy. It's movable. It doesn't feel like it's attached to anything. But I did, luckily, got her into the vet this morning and they tested it. And it's just a little tiny, tiny, fatty tumor. So what we're doing is we are going to monitor it. They measured it. We know where it is. We're just going to keep an eye on it. So far, it's not impeding her movement. It's, it, again, it's tiny and it's a fatty tumor. So we did get that good news win today. I was pretty sure that was what it was. I've had enough dogs by now to know the difference between a really scary lump and a, hi, I'm not chew onable, ma'am. And, and a not really scary lump and fatty tumors are not that scary. Hi. I know, I know, it's craziness, it's all craziness. So I'm sure some of you guys are wondering about the bone broth that we started making yesterday. Let's go see what it looks like. It looks like bone broth. I took it, it's still pretty hot. I took it out to cool it down a little bit before I strain it, but uh, it's bone broth. It smells amazing in here, I'm telling you. Smells amazing. Ma'am, I'm gonna go outside. Give me a second, okay? Give me a second. Oh, what else are we doing today? My mom and dad brought a bunch of potatoes from the farm, so I have to process some potatoes through the freeze dryer today. Oh, speaking of the freeze dryer, we also ended up with freeze dried blueberries and I air sealed the top of these. I do have them in the fridge. They don't necessarily have to be in the fridge, but a couple of them still had moisture in them because we did end it before we were supposed to. So I'm keeping them in the fridge for now. But uh, we did some blueberries because I've been feeding the dogs blueberries every time they eat. And well, you know, Jamie likes blueberries too. Yeah, your dad likes blueberries a lot. You wanna go out there before I, okay, all right. Come on, Miss Memphis, you wanna go outside? Come on, let's go outside. Come on, get up, let's go. Come on, let's go, come on. Yeah, she's like, but I was really comfortable. I was napping. Yeah, I know, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Dun dun. Ready? Well, you just reminded me I need to put my. I put the car thing in the washer because the cats puked all over the back of my Jeep. <laughs> uh, ready? There she is. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Oh, I should probably go back there and pick up Acorn. I already did it once this morning, but I better go do it again. Jamie did not have time to cut the grass today or yesterday, but he got the fence fixed yesterday, so that made me happy enough. You know, ma'am, we were just talking about how good you've been doing coming inside. Is today the day you're gonna be like, nope, it's super nice out, I'm never coming inside again. Or are you gonna wait till snow to do that again? Come on. I know, the grass is really long, come on. Let's go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being such a good girl. Appreciate you. Oh gee, what do we have here? <gasps> Greatest kitchen helper ever. Hi Memphis. I see them tippy tappies. So what are we doing? Well, my mom and dad brought me a bunch of potatoes from the farm. These were all grown at the farm, a couple different varieties. And since we're all going camping soon, we're not really gonna have much time to do a whole lot with them. So since we have a few days and we have the new freeze dryer, I'm gonna make freeze dried hash browns, which can then actually be used to make hash browns or potato pancakes, or let me find Kira. Hey, there you are. Or you can take them and you can pretty much make like mashed potatoes out of them. So you can do a whole bunch with them, but we're gonna do them like hash brown style. That is the plan. We're gonna go ahead and get that process started. I keep seeing this hole in your ear and I'm like, is that the hole in your ear? But it's really just a gap in your fur. <laughs> oh, all right, let's get this started. I probably should have showed more of this process than I did, but basically I took the potatoes my dad had already washed them. I shredded them in the food processor, blanched them for like 25 seconds in boiling water. These are gonna take forever, they're so wet. But look, they're not turning brown. Some of the potatoes were naturally brown, but the potatoes themselves are not turning brown, which is good. That's what I wanted, that's what I was going for. I ended up with five trays. So we're gonna put them in the machine and it's probably gonna take a really long time. Potatoes take a long time, so 
We'll see what happens. <gasps> we got a box. So then <laughs> Kara's like, I'm gonna open this box. So the next portion of today's video is sponsored by our friends at Pet Libro. They sent us an automatic pet feeder. Hi girls. An automatic pet feeder to try out. Now, yes, we have three dogs, and this is just one automatic pet feeder, but I really, really like this one, so I was really excited to show you guys what it is and how it works, and oh my goodness, Kira, you're the best. So we're gonna open up this box, and you guys get to check out this pet feeder. Freshly served, on time, every time. This isn't just a pet feeder, you guys. Let me get it out of the box. Okay, so before I even get too far into it, this thing is beautiful. It's beautiful, I love that. That's a stainless steel bowl that you can pull right out. So you can wash the bowl whenever you need to. Nice and easy to pull out. Love that. I love this. So see it says locked. You squeeze both of these and it opens right up. There's a nice seal on here to keep everything fresh. You can kind of see how everything works down in there. So you can store your food in here as well as use it to feed your dogs or your cats. <laughs> can you hear it? So it said, ready for Wi-Fi connection, which I have to set that up, and then it said, air pumping, please wait. This is not only an automatic feeder, this vacuum seals the food that you store in this feeder to keep it really, really, really fresh. I thought that was such a cool feature, and that's one of the reasons that when they reached out to us, I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to show you guys this, because this is one of the coolest pet feeders I think I've ever seen, honestly. But anyway, let me, uh, let me, that's not making noise, honey. It's this machine over here. It's not the vacuum. It's this over here. That's your toy. You're a goofy, you're a goofball. You're a goofball. Yes, it's this. So anyway, let me get this set up. Yeah, so if you don't know some of the, <laughs> I moved Memphis's bed so I can hook that up over there. Some of the benefits of it being a vacuum sealed container, I don't know how you would say that. If you have a lot of humidity, that can make your dog food go stale. You don't want that to happen because moisture makes mold and then you're feeding your dogs moldy food. So that's kind of a big thing. And this is gonna keep it from, uh, getting moldy, from getting wet, and keep it nice and fresh for your pets. Oh my goodness, what is the deal here? We're trying to check out this feeder, and you guys, of course, are gonna do your thing. So when you take the lid off, do you hear all the air come out? So all it let all the air out just now. Now we're gonna put some, I'm gonna put some food in here, girls. Look, it's in there, it's in there. Get out of there, no, that's not how we eat it. What are you doing? So I put the food in it and now I'm setting up the app and it's pumping the air through it again because you can push a button on the front and it does that and Memphis is like, what is going on? Is this thing gonna drop out snacks? And look at Kira, she's like, is there ever gonna be food that comes out of this machine? Ever. Maybe, honey, maybe. So while I'm waiting for it to finish connecting to the app, I thought I would tell you guys a few other things about it. It will hold 34 cups of food in that tank. And I'm gonna show you in a minute here, you can actually take that tank off and it makes the whole thing super easy to wash, which I love. Oh, there, the air stopped. Should I try it now? What do you think? Is the app loaded? If I hit the button that says feed now. Oh, this is kind of cool. So in the app, you can actually change the amount of food you're feeding your dogs. That's kind of cool. You can set up schedules. There is so much you can do in this app. You can receive reports about what your dogs have eaten. Oh, I love this. This is fun. It's meal time. Oh, it's meal time. So it lets all the air out of the machine. You can also change that voice and have it say something else. Memphis is like, I'm gonna figure this out. And then once it lets the air out, it should drop the food down into this part and then put it out in here. You can't eat it all, Memphis. She's like, yes I can. <laughs> Memphis is like, I will lick this bowl clean, don't worry. I stopped her and I gave the other dogs a little bit as well. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. And now, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's refilling the air. So every time it puts food down into the bowl, it has to depressurize the air in here. But then every time after it's done, it vacuum seals this again to keep their food super fresh. So I wanna show you this. You can take this off of here. You have to vent the air out of it first, which I just did, and then take this off of here. And now you can see down inside here, this is where the food goes and all those things. But it's nice that you can take it apart because then you can clean it. I really love that you can actually clean it. So when you take it off of there and you put it back on, either in the app or this button right here, or it'll detect it on its own. 
It'll detect that it needs to put the air in there and it will automatically do it. If it doesn't, you can push this button here or there's a button in the app you can push as well. You guys are all like super into this now that you know food comes out of it. Yeah, I know, food comes out of the machine. It's pretty crazy, right? Pretty crazy. Yeah, so honestly, if you're looking for a really great pet feeder for your pets, again, cats or dogs, this one is large, it holds a lot of food. It keeps the food nice and fresh because of the vacuum seal feature that it has. I've never seen that in an automatic pet feeder before. I thought that was the coolest thing. I will have some links and so on down in the video description below if you guys would like to get your own. This one is really cool. Yeah, so within the app itself, you can actually click the Feed Now button. It shows you all the different ways you can feed your pets. You can change the amount of food that you want to feed them. There are so many options in this app. You can set up a schedule, like you can do a whole feeding schedule and it will automatically feed your pets whenever they need to be fed. The air pumping button is in here, so you can click the air pumping button and it's gonna tell you normal mode, steady mode, so it'll pump the air out. Manual mode, you can go through all the different modes. And then there is the meal call. And like I said, you can either use the call that they have included or you can record your own. So there is a lot of options in the app. Still no Jamie. It is a beautiful day outside today and it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm assuming they're working on as much of the roof as possible. <sighs> I was just kind of hoping he'd be home by dinner time tonight, but maybe not. I'll have to text him and see what his plan is. Hopefully he has food out there. If not, well, I guess we'll be figuring that out. So I forgot to fill you guys in, but here's the roof we're doing. We tore off all the shingles there in that dumpster and we had new shingles brought today. So here's half the house. And we're gonna, in that bright, bright sun up there, we're gonna lay some hot shingles. Isn't that great? Look at all that. Uh, dumpster's full old shingles. It'll look nice and pretty here in a bit. Um, hi, dear. Mm. Hi. <laughs> He's like, mm, no, I don't want to play. So, must be right over there somewhere. Oh gosh, I can't. <laughs> I can't hold the camera and drive, so there's a deer over there. Go. Cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is that really your daddy? Kira's like, wait, is that my dad? Were you not sure? Is that why you were barking? Everybody's got the, her, her tail like slowly goes down. Is it? Is that who you think it is? Who is that, Memphis? <laughs> who is it? Is it dad? Is he home? Yeah? Are you excited? Is it? You're gonna get all the snow goes? He says we can go for a W-A-L-K. -okay. What do you think? You think we should? I think we should because it's still light out and he's actually home before it's dark out. So I think we're gonna get the dogs ready and uh, maybe go for a W-A-L-K. -okay. Oh my goodness! I'm pretty sure that's your daddy. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You better give them all of the snuggles. How you feeling? I'm a little sore. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that one time that we walked uh, on the beach on the rocks yeah. that were really weird shaped? I do. Uh -huh. And we're like, ow, our feet hurt really bad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's about what the same feeling. Yeah, and you still want to go for a WAOK -okay with the dogs? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I just put some good shoes on. Okay. Go out of the yellow. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Gee, do you have all the words for us today? She's like, oh my gosh, it's so nice out. It's like 60 something. It was 43 when I was driving across state in the middle of the night last night. I don't know if you knew that. 43, hun. I, I knew it got a little cold, but... You know what that means? Winter is coming. I know. I was surprised that they said it was going to be 78 degrees. I know. Or... It wasn't in town. It was only 70 today. Oh, it was 78 out in the hills. Yeah. I was, yeah. Uh, the I'm, close. the... I'm closer to the water than you yeah. were. No breeze out there. Anymore. Yeah. No, it was beautiful here today. Yeah. What? I'm not saying it wasn't nice, but it, right. was, it was pretty warm. Right. I am. She's you know, like, I'm still the... yelling. We know you're still yelling. It was John Matthew's first day of school today. Yeah. Yep, today was his first day of kindergarten. Oh, all right, let's see if we can find some bunnies. They might be hiding, it's kind of chilly. Mm, I 
saw him out already, but yeah, right. <laughs> Eleanor, mm -hmm. Eleanor, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> we found a Able. bunny, and he's way back there. I think you're like, well, there could be one closer, right? I was gonna say, but you're right. They do all see him, <laughs> no, and he's not even moving. No, we had to say. See the bunny? One. They finally saw one. Yeah, we saw that bunny now. Let's go. <laughs> Only one bunny? It's a little humider out there than we thought. Don't worry, I turned the ACs back on. I mean, they were on, it just wasn't that cold. Don't worry, I fixed it. I fixed it, I fixed it. Yeah. Hi. I'm gonna go get dinner for Dad and I, okay? You gonna hang out here for a little bit? <laughs> They're all like, it's a little warm out there, Ma. A little warm out there. I know, I know. Chill out, I'll be back. Whew. What do you think, girls? We go to bed early since I got little to no sleep last night. Memphis is already waiting for me down at the end of the hallway. What do you think? You think that's a good idea? I forgot to show you guys. I got this cool firework solar light. I got a couple of them, but so far that's the only one I set up. I need to set the rest of those up. Oh. All right. Uh, I did want to give a quick update. I did talk to Greg a little bit ago. The uh, cleaning people are coming out to his house tomorrow to assess everything, but his insurance is pretty much going to cover all the cleaning and all that, but they will not cover the cat bill, so. We are gonna go ahead and call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Good night, audience. Memphis is down the hallway. We're going to bed, baby, we're going to bed.